Hey, what's up you guys? So Nick and I are at the studio. We're getting ready to do a photo session. Um, you're on a tripod, so you're gonna be following me around. Nick's hands got injured in a tragic Fuji camera accident. Um, it wasn't the camera's fault. Fuji's the best there is. We all know that, we all love them. But I wanna talk about something important today, and that is the lie that photographers keep telling that is actually harming new photographers. We've talked about this in some shorts and I've got a video that I'm gonna link right up there about it. And in a couple of seconds when that link goes away, another link is gonna drop because this is something I've talked about quite extensively on my channel. And the biggest lie that we keep telling new photographers is that equipment doesn't matter. Now, I keep beating this dead horse and I know that I do and we're at the studio and I'm going to be getting things ready as we talk about this. Uh, you're not going to see the videos from today's shoot for at least a month. That way you guys know exactly how far ahead I actually am. But the point I want to make is we're actually hurting new photographers by saying that. We're by saying equipment doesn't matter. And why we're hurting new photographers, I don't actually know. Um, I'm a little bit confused on the reason that we're saying this lie. Um, I don't know if you want to make sure that they have a terrible camera or you're trying to make them feel better or sit on some kind of high moral horse. I'm not 100% sure. Now I have said it in the past and the reasons I've said it in the past was to sit on a high moral horse. But as my photography has evolved and the types of photography that I do has evolved, I've learned that equipment really, really does in fact matter for a lot of different reasons. And it's not just that equipment matters, it's the type of equipment you end up with that matters. Really what I'm trying to say here is you need the right tool for the job. And I said that in that little one minute super fast short that I posted not all that long ago. See, it's a prop. So I'm not lying every time I say that in videos that it is a prop. Um, but the point I'm making is equipment matters in a lot of different ways. Now the most important thing is, is exactly the kind of gear you need for the kind of job that you're doing. If we look inside my camera setup right here, We'll take an example of this GoPro. Now this GoPro has been used in so many videos at this point. I think I've had it for almost a year. Um, I couldn't do with my cell phone what I do with this GoPro. I just strap it to my chest, I'm good to go. Now sure, yeah, they make cell phone straps for your chest, but the cell phone's a lot bigger, it's a lot bulkier. It doesn't have as many options as the GoPro does. Or if we take a look at this 50 millimeter F1.4, my 50 millimeter F1.8 does not have the same speed and low light capabilities as this does, nor will it produce the same amount of bokeh. Or if we take a look at my Sony, my a7 III. Now this camera has so many more capabilities than any of the Nikons that I own do. Now, are those cameras bad cameras? No, not at all, I still use them. The 5100 comes out with me on photo sessions all the time still. I really do love all of my Nikon DSLRs, but they do not have the same capabilities as the Sony a7 III does. And when a client is expecting professional work and to be able to print their photos, well, I'm gonna to go to the camera that I know will absolutely absolve me of that. And there's some bad habits I picked up because of those Nikon cameras. And that's the true failing of telling people that gear doesn't matter is we're hurting them. They develop bad habits. I developed bad habits. The Nikon D5100 gets super noisy at about 7,000 ISO. So I avo avoided a lot of low light photography, like a lot of low light photography. It took me forever to get used to the capabilities of the Sony in low light. Now, the other thing is, is the Sony is limited to the, the a7 III colors. A lot of people like to complain about, and you know, we got a Canon R6 here, and this is a 50 millimeter F1.2. Now, the 50 millimeter F1.2 has more bokeh than that F1.4 does. It, it's a faster lens. It's better in low light than the F1.4 is gonna be because of that difference in equipment. Now, the other thing too, is if you have cheaper quality lenses, you get softer images at wide open aperture. Even an F3.4 Sigma that I had, that I did a review on, I'll link that right up there, had issues 
that wide open aperture, that f3.4, it was a soft lens. It wasn't very sharp, whereas a more expensive lens like a Canon, a Sony, even the Samyang lenses, and the top end Nikkor glass, you can shoot wide open and not have those issues. So I avoided wide open apertures for the longest time. And then when I got a lens that was capable of still being sharp at a wide open aperture, I held myself back. I had hurt myself by using this other equipment. And so I think that the advice that we should be giving new photographers is not your equipment doesn't matter, but the equipment that you need is what matters. The equipment that fits in your budget is truly what matters. But to know that when you can afford to upgrade, when you reach the limitations of your equipment, you do need to upgrade in order to push yourself artistically. This is a little bit longer than most of our other videos, but the other point I want to interject here is, yeah, we are going to be using two separate brands of cameras today to take photographs. We're using the Canon and we're using the Sony, and that's because they're going to produce different photos because they have different color sciences. Everyone knows Canon color. Canon is one of the most popular brands of cameras in the entire world. Everyone knows Canon colors. A lot of people don't like Sony colors. I happen to like Sony colors because they're accurate. Now again, accuracy does not mean beautiful, but that's why I shoot in RAW. I can change that in post. And Fuji, well, Fuji does it all. You guys have a good one. I'll catch you on the flip side.